Hello everyone, it's Ham, and welcome back to another episode of Psychonauts. Last time we finished up Coach Oleander's basic training, and we've had a, and we gained access to the entire camp. We also met up with Sasha Nine, who's giving us a test to see if we can find a secret lab for some advanced training. And today, uh, we're gonna look around for the secret lab, but we're also just gonna be exploring around the campground. Uh, one thing I really like about this game is once you finish up with the world, the campers will go around the campground, and you can interact with them and see different things. Like we saw with Vernon and the others last time. Uh, like for instance, we got Mikhail over here. I'll let you know if I see anything. Cannot learn forever, but Mikhail, you'll find Mikhail, my bad. Uh, yeah, he's still looking for that giant hairless bear, so maybe we can help him out with that later on. Uh, one thing though, I'd like to go back to the kids' cabin area. Because we've got Nils over here. Come on, teach me clairvoyance. Go find an expert. I have no idea how I'm doing this. Okay, I don't know why that happened, but usually you'll have a cutscene where uh, Nils will explain clairvoyance this is going to Raz. be sweet. Um, I apologize for that. I guess we're not going to be able to see that. But let's go ahead and head back to the kids' cabin. I mean, the main campgrounds. Alright, so we're just gonna be going around camp today and looking, talking to everybody. Uh, we're not gonna be doing- we're not gonna be collecting too many things. We're just gonna be going around talking to everyone, but I will be trying to collect as many scavenger hunt items as possible. Alright, we got Lily right here. Hey Lily, do you know where Sasha 9's secret lab is? Secret? It's printed on your map, duh. Oh, I knew that. I was just curious if you knew where Sasha 9's lab was. Because I do. Uh -huh. Alright, let's do it. Lily says, and open our journal and map. Uh, we've got the options here, which also shows off our basic brain marriage badge. Now, this shows off the collectibles in this area. we got the side challenge markers, the scavenger item, hunt items, and the sky, side cards. And that's just for this area of the campground. That's why it says campground mains up there. This is for totals overall, and if you ever want to look at your scavenger hunt items again, you can go to this page and press the button. And you can look at the scavenger hunt lists. Uh, this is a to-do list that Raz has made. We gotta complete Sasha's advanced training. Uh, but first we gotta find it. These are just the memories, which are basically your cutscenes. And uh, you can also see the concept out there you unlock for collecting all the emotional baggage. And here we got the camp, uh, the camp map. Up here is the kid cabin area. And this is the main campgrounds. And we've got a bunch of areas that we haven't on. Oh, <laughs> The map's weird, it's like reversed for controls. We have a bunch of areas we haven't unlocked yet, so we can't look at them. So let's go ahead and do that. First though, we got Kitty and Frankie here. What you doing there? We're making friendship bracelets. You know, for our friends. Uh-huh. Hey, is that my name on that one? Not unless your name is Frankie or Kitty. Oh, I guess I saw an R and, and an A. What's your name again, kid? Spaz? My name's Raz. Well, Spaz, why don't you go bother someone else? Okay, and that we will. Uh, these two are the mean girls at the camp, so you just gotta be careful around them. Let's go ahead and talk to Lily. Look at those two. Who'd even want a stupid friendship bracelet? I don't know. I wouldn't mind one. Yeah? Well, that's stupid. Oh, Lily. She'll warm up to us eventually. Want to measure my wrist? Just in case. Mm, no. Alright. And we can actually enter the main lodge. There's two entrances. There's this one and the one in the front of it, which is the main which is the main entrance. <laughs> and in the main lodge, we've got Hey, you guys are good. Thanks, man. Hey, do you have a lighter? Because if you lit it and held it up right now, that would be rad. And completely insensitive to me and my issues. Oh, right, right. Oh, never mind. I forgot about the whole fire bad thing for a moment. Hey, why are you stopping? We got Quentin oh, and I Phoebe here practicing their band. No, 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 no. Let's go. Their band. Uh, practicing the music for their band. Inside here is the TV room. And if you actually go up to the TV, you can change the channel. Which I just think is cool. It's nothing too crazy, it's just these three channels, but I like it a lot. 
and Do over. you can actually see. Yeah, she's gone. I believe her name's Noka. Yeah, she turns invisible when I have a Raz So it's gonna be a while before we can actually talk to her. But we actually have Ford here cooking up some burgers. Excuse me. I told you the burgers ain't ready. No, you didn't. The coals ain't hot. They're not gonna be done for a while. They're maybe a week. A week? They're back ordered. I'm the only one back here. These things take time. I don't even want a hamburger. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? So, what do you want? Oh, that's my last cobweb duster. Take that into someone's mind with you. You can clean up. They're happy to be rid of the webs. And you can turn them in for side cards. All right, <laughs> now that's over. Uh, this is the camp store that Ford runs while he's also cooking up some burgers. Uh, he just explained the cobweb duster. I'm just gonna scroll through and he'll explain what the he's got. Now with that, you can change the color of some of your psi powers, like your levitation ball and what have you and what not. Well, kind of a vanity thing. You know, in my day, psi powers were all gray and we thought that was grand. We were happy just to have psi powers. Ah, but you know kids these days. All right. Now, here's something every young Psy Cadet needs. Okay, he's not actually gonna explain that. This is a mental magnet. It'll draw collectibles uh, to you. Collectibles being, like, the arrowheads that you find in someone's mind, or the mental health that you find in someone's mind. Stuff like that. Now, that Dawson rod will help you find arrowheads that are buried deep. That's where all the really valuable ones are, you know. Find three or four deep deposits, and that baby pays for itself. It costs you money because it makes you money. All right. Now, you take that side core there, put it together with nine side cards, and you'll have yourself a brand new side challenge marker, which is worth a whole rank, you know. All right. And one last thing. Mmm, dream fluffs. Delicious, nutritious, and cheap. Each one is packed with concentrated mental health. You shouldn't go anywhere without a pocket full of those. And those are Dream Fluffs. We've mentioned these before, but they're basically health pickup, well, health consumables that you can use. I never use them, but I will try to use them in this, so just to show you guys. Um, now, he'll go through and talk about them all again. We've been not going to do that. Um, that's it for now. Uh, sorry. Come on back. Support your local merchants. Right, so we could buy a couple of those, um... Psycores, but we're not going to do that right now because I'm gonna save up for the uh, the dowsing rod. Also, real quick, if you jump up here, then jump up here, and jump up on these rafters, you can see that there's something wrong over there. It's a little bit tricky at first to get across these, but if you practice it enough, you'll be able to get to it. And if we just jump over here, we got the voodoo doll. And the voodoo doll is the first of our scavenger hunt list items. Now that's the only one that's, I believe, inside a, a building. I, th I think so, at least. So you won't have to worry about looking for any more of the inside of any other buildings. You got a side card down here flapping around. Now we're gonna pick up side cards and scavenger hunt items, but we're not gonna be picking up any side challenge markers we see. I'm gonna save those for later, because right now I'm bringing. Seven, and I don't want to get to rank ten quite yet. Also, if you just take a look, quick look in here, we got another scavenger hunt item, Golden Bloom. So that's two right off the bat. I don't think it counts. Yeah, the one scavenger hunt item we got inside the main lodge doesn't count towards this one. There's another one in this area. Uh, also, if you look up top there, you can see two people up there. Let's go say hello. Hey, it's the king of the obstacle course. Hey, Raz! You're awesome! You must be a psychonaut by now! Yeah! Or even a double psychonaut! <laughs> oh no, not yet. But soon. Wow, those two are so nice. Oh dear, <laughs> it looks like they've got something going on there. Let's go ahead and climb up though, I saw a side card. If you actually climb up, before they see you, they'll still be doing it. But as soon as you climb up here and they see you, they'll come Hey, what are you guys doing up here? Uh... Writing cheers! Oh yeah! Writing cheers! Wanna hear one? 
okay. Ready? Okay! When I grow up... Hey, what you gonna be? I'm gonna be the best, just like my mate homie. And when you say homie, whose horn might you be tooting? The mind reading cycle thriller. Oh, you must mean Rasputin. Yeah! Yes! Woo! I don't know if they'll continue that. Let's see. How about another cheer? Okay, you start, Clem. You know Raz is the coolest. The master psychic duelist. Bad guys try to snuff him. So he beats him like a puffin. Yeah, Raz! Woo! Oh, God. That's so bad. I'm sorry. Puffin? What was I thinking? Hey, hey, Crystal. It's okay. No, I'm so stupid. So stupid. Stupid! <laughs> I think that's all the cheers for now, okay, Raz? Yeah, hey, sorry. Looks like they've got some issues they need to work on. Uh, for now, let's just go ahead and walk across this. Uh, up there is a side challenge marker. Again, we're going to be ignoring it. Uh, I'm just going to grab these side cards real quick. This one can be a bit tricky if you don't... If you can't manage to get underneath the roof, it's a little... But it's uh, easy enough. Alright, that's about all we're gonna do for the main cabin area. Or the main lodge area, rather. Um, I was gonna head down there, but we're gonna save down there for a little bit later. We're gonna go towards the lake for now. There's something I want you all to see. Just, get to, just to get down to the lake is right down here. Oh, actually, that's my fault. You have to climb up here to get to the lake. You technically don't have to. The, uh, the trigger to actually get into the lake is down there. You can just walk down. But this is the better way to actually get to the lake. Alright, here we are at the lakefront. Let's go ahead and walk down here. And just head on down to the beach. Gypsy curse about how we're all supposed to die in water. If you can believe that. Oh, I thought it was about the whole thing with the brain eating fish that walks out of the lake at night to hunt for victims. Well, see ya. Um, hey, Raz. I saw you and Lily talking in the coach's class, and I was wondering, were you asking her to go with you? What? No. I'm here to train. No distractions. Excellent. Bye. All right, we learned quite a lot there. Uh, first things first, let's grab the side card. But um, yeah, Raz's family has been cursed by gypsies. So if he ever tries to approach the water, the hand will try and grab him. Interesting enough, keep jumping in the water. On the third grab, it will just grab you. And Raz will come crawling out of the water, which is interesting enough. I think that's I think that's pretty neat. Uh, it's it's nice because you can't break the game doing um, by like jumping over the water and swimming in it. I like it. It's just it's a neat little barrier. Hey, are you psychic fishing? I've read about that. Oh, I could never fish. That would be terrible. Regular people can be mean to fish, I guess, but I can't. I can hear everything the little guys are thinking. Fish think? About what? Well, normally not much. But today, they're all kind of freaked. They're scared of something in the lake. Me too. Now that I know it's full of freaked out thinking fish. There's something big and scary out there, Raz. I wonder, could the old legends be true? That's interesting. The fish, are, the, fish, the fish are all freaked out about something. Maybe it's about that man-eating lake monster that Elton was talking about. I can barely hear you. He's gonna keep, keep talking to them for a while. What are you doing? Shh! I'm trying to hear them talk. Alright. What are you talking about? 
Now we saw Bobby and oh, we saw Bobby and Benny over here, so let's go ahead and try and talk to them. Oh, and we've also got Ford again. Hey, Mr. Crawler, can I take out a canoe? Mr. Who? You will call me Admiral, son. And no, you can't charter a vessel. Not without an oarsman's badge. All right. We can't take a canoe out yet. We have to earn an oarsman's badge. Who knows how long that'll be, though. All right, we got Bobby and Benny over here annoying the fish. What's that round thing up on the dock? That thing? Oh, man. Let me tell you about that thing. That thing is... None of your stinking business! Alright. What are you guys doing? Beat it, you kid! What's that round thing up on the dock? That thing? Uh, mind if I scoot by? Not if you don't mind my fist scooting in your neck! They're not gonna let us by any time. And unfortunately, we can't do anything to help those fish at the moment, so we'll just have to wait until we can. Uh, now let's explore the area a little bit here. We got the beach over here. There's another part of it over here. Uh, there's some docks we can't reach without a boat yet, so we'll have to just wait on that. Grab some arrowheads. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick up as many arrowheads. Oh, we have a new side. We have enough side cards to build a new side challenge marker. Just buy a side card. Side core. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna be picking up arrowheads for a while until I have enough for the deep arrowhead thing, the dowsing rod. Because once we get the dowsing rod, it'll be much easier to get arrowheads, like you said. Okay, now we got a little bit of an obstacle course here, but if you go down here, there's Psychonauts comic number one, which is also part of the scavenger hunt list. Right, swing up here, grab, oh, grab that arrowhead. Now, <laughs> these are just side cards, but it can be a bit annoying to grab. I don't know why, but this tree branch is always angled weird, so you're not really aiming at the other tree branch. There we go. I don't remember it being like that on the PS2. I could be wrong, but I, I used to have issues with that when I first started playing on the PC. Now I know how to do it. Uh, there's a deep, scary cave in there, and we don't really want to go in there quite yet. That's gonna be that's gonna lead us to another area that I want to save for last. So we're gonna head back up towards the main branch. got a bit of a shooting range down there with hay bales. We can't do much of that now, though, so we'll have to save it for later. Alright. Head back over here. But speaking of saving things for later, I'm going to end this episode off here, and I will see you guys in the next one. So thank you so much for watching, and we will continue to explore the campgrounds next time. Bye!